Once you know the heat change for a chemical reaction, you can include that with the balance chemical equation to give you a thermochemical equation. So here's a balanced equation, and you have the heat change, delta H. There is a slight difference between delta H and delta E that's beyond this class. So normally when you see a thermochemical equation, you're going to see it written with delta H rather than with delta E. Delta H means the change in enthalpy, and the enthalpy is almost the same thing as heat. The technical difference is if you measure the heat at constant pressure, the heat is equal to the change in enthalpy. And for most chemical reactions, in the lab, we work at constant pressure, so heat and enthalpy are used interchangeably for most chemistry applications. This delta H is a positive number, and that matches a positive Q. And remember, a positive delta H means the system is absorbing heat, so this reaction requires an input of heat if we had gotten another reaction with a negative delta H, that means exothermic. We can also use this in a conversion factor because this delta H, this number of kilojoules of heat, is required for, if you're looking at the iron, this coefficient of 2 tells you it takes 2 moles of iron to react, and it requires this number of kilojoules of heat. If you were looking at the aluminum, it's 2 moles. If you're looking at any chemical, the mole in the coefficient is equal to the number of kilojoules from the balanced thermochemical equation. So for example, if we calculate delta H for a reaction that produces 555 grams of aluminum, we trying to, we're trying to figure out how many kilojoules of heat would be absorbed if the reaction produced 555 grams of aluminum. We want to use our thermochemical equation as our conversion factor, and so we have to convert grams of aluminum into moles of aluminum using the periodic table, finding the molar mass of 26.98. And then once we have moles of aluminum, we can turn it into kilojoules of heat using the thermochemical equation. The coefficient for aluminum is a 2, and that requires an input of 852 kilojoules. So multiplying gives us an answer of 8.76 times 10 to the third kilojoules.